don't like fish. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, I'm not going to eat it. I spent all day trying to ruin this meal, and you are going to eat it. <laughs> no, I won't. It's tradition. Tr Traditions change. Why does everything always have to be about change? You know, change isn't always a good thing. Oh, really? Well, we don't eat disobedient children anymore on the pretext of ruining their Christmas. That's true. And look what's happened to society as a result. People are rude, <laughs> self-centered, and tribal. What's that got to do with me not wanting to eat fish? <sighs> Everything. That's the problem with kids today. No accountability. Young people just allowed to run rampant. <laughs> Mom, how would my eating fish change any of that? What's the most effective way to keep a child in line? Oh, uh, to threaten them with death. Oh, they have to be made to believe that their bad behavior will have cost them something, like, like Christmas presents. Mom, is that our purpose? To introduce toddlers into the death throes of late-stage capitalism? <laughs> I should have never let you go to that college. <laughs> Kids need consequences. Spare the rod and spoil the child. The Yule Cat's primary job is to help humans put the fear of Odin in their hearts. Mom, they don't tell them we're going to eat them anymore. They just tell them we're going to eat their Christmas meals. See, this is what happens when you take Odin out of the schools. Odin? Yes. Speaking of mythology. Oh, shh, quiet. Grillia will hear you. Tattoo, tattoo. <laughs> that kind of talk that got us deported from Iceland. <laughs> outside the box? It's called thinking strategically. You can't have a seven-course fish fry with only six kinds of fish. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, stealing a fish, it just doesn't sound like much. I stole it from the Pope. Wait, the Pope? <laughs> the Pope? Funny, big, hat guy, lives in the Vatican Pope? The Pope has fish oh. on Christmas Eve? Apparently. But can't they just go to the store and buy more fish? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. What? This could work. How? It could? Oh, yes. My feckless feline sister, you may have just, however unwittingly, discovered the most effective method to ruin a holiday. <laughs> what do you mean? 
<laughs> what did I do? Okay, okay. Stay with me now. Pay attention, all right? Okay. We are the Yule Cats, right? Yes. Right. And we used to eat poor folk who didn't get new clothes for New Year's, yes? Yes. Uh -huh. But then that sounded ridiculous, so all we started doing then was just eating naughty children for Christmas. No. Yes. Yes? yes. Yeah. <laughs> but then our entire mythology fell into disrepute, and now all we do is eat their Christmas dinners if they're naughty? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Okay. <laughs> Sister, pay attention, all right? What is the most effective way to ruin a holiday tradition other than disrupting the Feast of the Seven Fishes, which is celebrated by millions of people the world over, including the leaders of their church. But aren't we only supposed to ruin it for the bad people? I mean, what have the leaders of the church ever done that would be considered... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh! Oh! What I love about you, Kat. It may take you a while, but you always get there. Oh, thank you, Erin. <laughs> What's for dinner? Oh, duh. Sorry. I'll just um, rinse out the wet food bowls. Oh, no, you know, it's, it's my turn. I'll do it. Oh, no, think of it as an early Christmas present. Aw, thank you, sis. None for me, thanks. What? I'm not eating. Here we, here we go again. I'm uh, not eating fish, not now, and especially not your Christmas miracle fish. She's just being finicky. Give her some dry food. Jojo, I don't understand. <laughs> Why won't you eat the fish? Auntie, please don't ask. There's any number of reasons, really. Farm fish, health issues. I've just made up my mind not to. She's a carnitarian now. A carn what? It means she'll eat any kind of meat except fish. It's not just that. Cat, it's our whole mythology, our whole reason for being. You know, why are we here? What's our purpose? To frighten children? She's having an existential crisis. <laughs> no, Mom. But maybe, you know, maybe not so much existential as it is experiential. You know, why do we do what we do? Did we choose to do this? Mom, stop trying to distract me. Does every culture have a religion where they frighten people into doing good instead of treating them nicely? Oh, Popper Scooper, why don't you just go back to America if that's what you learned in that college over there? <laughs> no, Mom, maybe you should. Hey, maybe the uh, Yule Cat myth can replace their obsession with Elf on the Shelf. <gasps> How dare you compare me to their stuffed animal wannabe! I raised you the right way. I gave you all the cat toys and treats you could possibly want. I even let you go to that college with those wild cats. <laughs> That was their mascot. Don't you talk back to me. Don't you talk back to me. Fine, I'll go. No, Fresh mouth. No, baby, don't go, don't go. Fresh. Please. She didn't mean it. You didn't mean that, did you, Erin? Just, you don't want her to change. Can't, please. No, I know. She's got her own mind now, Erin. She was a kitten for so long, and now suddenly she's a cat. Memory of <laughs> love in the moonlight. I can smell it the old day. The tradition. <laughs> we have to carry on the tradition. No, don't go. <laughs> say something to talk to her, please. She never listens to me. She never listens. She never listens. Oh, just, just talk to her. She got into the holiday cat man. Please. Mom. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> We don't have to be like this, you know? Our traditions, even you said they change. It's just, I don't want to do this anymore. Instill fear in children, anxiety in their parents. Why can't we just purr by the fire or, or knead their throes when they fall asleep on the couch? Why can't we start a new tradition? Be the lighthouse cats! Oh, yes, yes, do you remember, Mommy? No. 
Um, when the lighthouse keeper fell ill at Christmas, and he couldn't keep the lighthouse light burning, and his cat named Beacon carried the lantern to the top of the lighthouse so the sailors would have a light in the dark. You just made that up. No, Mommy Auntie Cat did <laughs> a long time ago. But don't you see, that's what mythology does for us. It's a light we carry in the darkness. Not the darkness itself, not the fear. <gasps> like the star oh, for the manger. Oh, oh, Auntie Cat, I love you. You always get there. <laughs> it's what she does best. Mama, I'm so tired. Oh, well, you could purr by the fire. Oh, and I could need the Christmas throws. I should probably trim my claws first. <laughs> what do you do, Joe? 